For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Advent is a special time of the year that we celebrate the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's really quite fascinating to study the history of the early church and their anticipation of the coming of the Lord. Oftentimes it became very common throughout the world for Christians to greet one another with the Aramaic expression Maranatha, speaking of the coming of the Lord. As the church began to grow and spread throughout all of the world, Latin became predominant. Latin uses a phrase that means the coming of the Lord. That word you recognize is Advent. Early on, as Christians greeted one another from Aramaic expression Maranatha, in Rome they begin to say Advent, speaking of the coming of the Lord. It's a Latin term that has taken hold of this season to this very, very day. By the th third or fourth century, Christians begin to celebrate the birth of Christ. They had two primary purposes. Number one, they wanted to remember that God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. God's greatest gift in human history is his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Christians begin to celebrate annually the birth of Christ. It would be a thousand years later before much of the tradition that you think of at this season would begin to emerge. In fact, what's really fascinating is in Germany, about the time that President Abraham Lincoln was leading our nation, there was a revival of the birth of Christ and the celebration of that birth. In Germany, in a small little village, people begin to preach series every December about the birth of Christ. They use the term from the Latin, Advent. Clergy would preach messages through the Gospels, studying to help people remember the significance of the birth of Christ each and every year. Many times, clergy were also worship leaders. Many of the great hymns that we sang today were actually written by pastors in the 16, 17, 1800s. And when it comes to Advent, much of the Christmas music that we think of and written back in that era was written in Europe. Now, the people in the church, like the men and women's ministries, they would begin to celebrate with things like Advent candles and Advent calendars. Now, the term Maranatha would emerge, meaning the second coming of Christ. And the word Advent would take hold of the birth of Christ and his first coming. Today, as we launch the next 25 days as days of peace, we are reminded of the words of the prophet Isaiah, who refers to the Lord Jesus Christ as the Prince of Peace. Our world has so much turmoil and there's so much struggle. It reminds me of the story found in the Gospel of Mark when they were out on a ship in the middle of the sea and a fierce storm suddenly came up. They woke Jesus up, who had been asleep, not knowing what to do. You remember the story. Jesus spoke to the wind, and he said, be still, and immediately there was peace. I want to encourage you today as we launch 25 days of Advent devotionals to remember the birth of Christ, who is the Prince of Peace, who has the power over the sea and over the storm and over the wind. The number one purpose of the early believers 
speaking of Christmas as Advent, was that we would remember and celebrate the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. The second reason for all of those candles and calendars being created was to teach the boys and girls their sons and daughters. Make it a priority this Christmas to remember the birth of Christ and secondly, to teach your children and your grandchildren all about the greatest gift that was ever given from heaven for you and I, the birth of the Lamb of God. He is the Prince of Peace.